hello from super mom's kitchen i'm back with another new recipe this is fish cutlet now we're going to take a bo boneless fish and we have pre-boiled the fish with turmeric and salt and then we've mashed it in the blender you take two bowls of mashed say two cups two big cups of mashed fish this is mashed without any bones in it you take say six to eight shallots chopped and a few bunch of curry leaves two boiled potatoes one egg this is a little bit of bread crumbs for dipping and frying three re three green chilies that depends on what spice you need one tablespoon of chopped ginger one teaspoon of garam masala one big tablespoon of chopped pudina mint or you can use optional you can use uh, coriander leaves basil one large tea tablespoon of garlic chopped and the required salt now we're going to put some oil in a pan Splatter the mustard. Now we're going to add in the onions and the curry leaves. Saute. Now we are going to add the green chilies, ginger and the garlic. Saute this till it's golden brown. Once it's golden brown, we are going to add in the mashed fish. Any big fish, tuna, kingfish, without bones. We are using the coriander leaves or the pudina just to take away the raw fish taste and the garam masala is also used for that we are going to use one teaspoon of pepper too pepper powder for the pepper flavor because we do not use any chili powder Remember, you boil the fish in turmeric powder and salt. So you don't need to add any turmeric powder to this. So now it's already golden brown. Now we're going to drop in the fish, the mashed fish. Keep stirring till you get a little brownish. The fish turns a little brown. The raw taste should be off the fish. See the raw taste is over out. Gone off from the fish. Stir it really well. Check if enough salt. If you don't have enough spice, add more green chili. If you want it really spicy. In the meanwhile, we're going to mash the potato. Mash it up really well so that you can mix it with the fish and foam balls now i'm going to drop in the pepper powder and the garam masala into the fried mix and then stir it really well let it cool and then mix in the max mashed potato I'm going to mix all these together in with the mashed potato and then I'm going to drop in the mint, the pudina leaves or the coriander leaves, a bunch of it and check if it's enough salt.